Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA, and in this video we're going to be looking at subs and functions, both the private and the public subs, and what a function is. It is quite confusing when you start, you're like, well, what's a, what's a private function, and why would I use it? What's a public function, and why would I, why would I use that? But if you can consider the way most programs are built, it's not one single long piece of code. They basically can be built in little modules. So for example, if we're looking at a house, and if you're looking at building a house, you're going to have people that pour the foundation. You're going to have people that put in the uh, put in the studs, people that frame it. You're going to have a roofing crew. And you're basically going to have different groups that specialize. Well, when you program, you're going to typically want to do a very similar thing. And because of that, they, they basically have built out private public subs and functions so that you can write bits and pieces of code that kind of specializes and so we're going to just dig into these so first one to look at is a function well what is a function its function and then you're going to have your function name and then you're going to have a parentheses and in parentheses and I put an X which is a variable as a double and a Y as, as a double and a function is always going to return a string or a um, it's going to do something, but it's going to return something as well. So uh, it could return a, it could return lots of things, but a function is going to return something. So I've got this function built. I've called it math times. Now, if I come inside and I hit F8, it's just going to yell at me. It's going to say you can't you can't actually run this. And the reason is is because functions are a little different in that you have to pass variables to them. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, the cool thing about a function is you can actually go into Excel into your spreadsheet. You can type in that function. So we're going to this is math times. Now I do have to pass two variables, so I'm going to pass two and two, and I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to return four, which is which is great. But what what essentially happened? I'm going to put a block in here. I'm going to change one of these, which is going to basically recalculate for me. And you'll notice that it's going to go. Wait a sec. Right here, I've passed a. I've assigned. 4 to x and I've assigned a y to 2 and it's going to do the multiplication and at the end of the function it's going to change it. That, that's what a function is for. Okay, what is a moving on, what is a private sub? Well this is a private sub. We got this this awesome private sub. I've named it can't find me. The reason I've named it can't find me is because if you go into your macros you'll notice I've got call subs which is down here. I've got function sub and I've got same as regular sub. But where's my can't find me? Private subs are specific only to the area that they fall within. So for example, if I have a private sub as a module, I can't actually access that from a sheet. And I'll actually show you an error uh, later on that is caused when, when that happens. So I can run this. So if I hit F5, it runs just fine. I can process it like any macro. I can actually call it, which I'll show you how that works a little bit later as well. So that's that's a private sub. Well, what's a public sub? Public sub is the same as a regular sub. I don't know why there's a difference, but public sub is the same as just sub without public. So I put in here in a little message box. I'm just like sub. I'm just a little more wordy. All right. So how would you use a function? How would you use a function within a macro? Because you could have a function, and you can call that call that function. Um, this is a macro. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pass it five and two point five one. Now, notice I don't have any variables down here. I'm going to hit F8, and because I'm calling a function, it's going to come back up here. You'll notice it comes back up there, and you'll notice that it assigned x to five and y to two point five one. Now it's going to do the math, right? 5 times 2.51 is going to give me 12.55. I'm going to end the function, and because that function completed, it's going to put that in M. Now my M is equal to 2.55. So that is how you pass variables back and forth to a function. Now you can do the exact same thing with. Um, a variable. Now if I come down here, oh, so I got a little lost there. My apologies. Let's come back here. Now you'll notice I'm in this macro 
and it's called submath times. It's exactly like a function, but the difference is that um, in this function, it doesn't actually have anything because I'm not passing variables. So what I'm going to do, I actually, this is in the wrong order. I'm going to show you how to go in between all of these, all of these subs. So if I go down to my call subs, I hit this, I've got sub math and times. When I hit this, it's going to come up here into my other sub or my other macro. It's going to pass 3.14 to x, 2 to y. When I hit F8, it actually passes those in just fine. And it's going to give me a message box with the math of those two times together, which is 6.28. 6 All right. Well, it now finished that, but now I'm, I'm going to call another sub. And this is can't find me. It's going to process this. I'm anti-macro. And then I'm going to process the last one. And so that's how you would get in between your different modules if you're, build, if you're building these out. Now let's also look at the worksheet code. So those are worksheet events. I come in here and I go to my, I, and I already have them written up. But you can actually also do private subs on your worksheets. Now, it's very confusing, and I, I've never written this out. Really what I do is I come in here and I go to worksheet, and there's a bunch of different things that you can do. So on a selection change, you can process some code. You can also do it on a change. You can do it on a deactivate. You can do it on a before double click. For right click, you can do it on a calculate, you can do it on a change, you can do it for many reasons. I simply just have selection here because it's easy. Um, I'm going to hit, I'm going to I hit F5 or F8 out of habit, that's funny. So I'm going to come over here and make a selection change. Now I uncommented that by getting rid of that single quote. And I'm going to put a stop on here, but when I ch when I make a selection change, it's actually going to process this because it's an on a, it's an on event. Now I click on that; it's going to process this, and I'm going to call a regular sub. So I hit F F8, and it's going to go and process that. It's going to go to the end of the sub, and then it's going to go to the end of the sub. Now you'll remember I had that private sub in there. Now if I click on this guy. I'm going to try to call a private sub which is in module one from sheet one code. It's actually going to give me an error. I'm going to show you what that error is. Actually, it won't even, it doesn't even see it. So I, I get a compiler. And so what I would have to do is I would have to change that to a, uh, to a private or a public sub or just a sub in order for that to work. Okay, so now that we've looked at the selection change in the sheet, I want to go over one more thing, and that is the global variable. So if you go over to the module, we're going to set up a global variable. Now, the first thing you've got to do to make it global, and global basically means that this variable is going to be available in your public subs. So we're going to do global s as string. So s is our variable. Now we've got a global variable. Now you can't actually set that outside of you have to set that inside of a sub. So we're going to come down here just to show you how this works. We're going to go s equals this is global. And we're just going to track this global variable through our locals window. Now, if you don't have your locals window open, you can just go to view and go to your locals window and open it up. I use it because it shows all your variables that you have open at a single time. So I've got a global variable. We are set up. It's s is string. And we're just going to process this by hitting F8. So I've got s is a global variable. Now if I come in here, I'm going to go msg box s. If I hit F8, it's going to give me that math. And you'll also notice that it gives me my global variable. Now I can. Now, actually, to be completely honest, I don't know if this works in a private sub, so we're just going to test it. Uh, it will. It actually did. The only reason, the reason I know that is because it capitalized it. There's my global variable there, which is great. So that's a really, that's a pretty detailed um, outline of subs and functions and how they can kind of go in between. Now, obviously, your code is going to be different. It's going to, uh, it's going to look different. It's going to do different things. But that gives you a great overview of how to work within different modules and basically break your code out so it's in simple pieces or simple uh, 
simple code snippets so that you can your code doesn't have to be all spaghettied all over the place. Hope this is helpful, and I hope you enjoy it.